Hello and welcome everyone. My name is Meepolis and this is Literally Graphic. And today we're doing the Omnivore book tag started by a cup of books. I was tagged by Tutankhamen18. Links in the description. But what is the Omnivore book tag you ask? Well, apparently, I am supposed to pick four genres and answer some questions about each one. As I often say on this channel, I read a little bit of everything, so this one was a bit hard to narrow down, but to try and be as random as possible, let's go with speculative fiction, nonfiction, horror, and romance. So genre one, question one. What is my favorite speculative fiction book? Wild Seed by Octavia E. Butler? I haven't read it since 2013, but I'm planning on diving back in soon as I've decided to purchase the series and catch up to the Octavia E. Butler slow read-along. Very interesting and would highly recommend. For nonfiction, I would say the 500 Years of Resistance comic book, which should surprise no one. Top horror pick goes to Mushishi. And for romance, the less than epic adventures of TJ and Amal, which I also haven't read in forever and should reread and review ASAP. Moving along to question number two, which speculative fiction book am I currently reading or have just finished? Well, I'm currently working my way through Why the Last Man for some reason. I'm not enjoying it at all, but I decided I was going to read it, so I am going to, and then you will get my thoughts. <laughs> well, for nonfiction, as of the writing of this script, I have just finished up listening to A Long Way Gone, Memoirs of a Boy Soldier, which is very interesting, and I rated four out of five stars. My most recent horror read is a bit of a stretch, but if you watch my review, I do make the case for In Clothes Called Fat by Miyoko Anno to be horror. And to conclude, my most recent romance comic was very enjoyable, and the review is scheduled to come out this Friday. Meat and Bone by Kat Verhoeven is lovely. Question number three. What speculative fiction book is on my TBR that I want to read next? Well, my Hold for Pet by Aweke Amezi just came in, and it sounds like it might be speculative fiction. It's a broad category. Similarly, my Hold on King Leopold's Ghost just came in, so that will be my next nonfiction pick. My next horror read looks like it's going to be either Ring Shout or Sandcastles. Both are a bit far off in schedule because apparently I'm not prioritizing horror right now. For shame. Similarly, I have a hold on His Only Wife by Peace Adzo Medi, but it's still a ways off. And that's all they wrote. Thank you again to Uncommon18 for tagging me. As usual, drop the link to your tag video in the comments if you end up doing it. It's fun. Bye y'all, keep reading, and resist white supremacy. And as always, Literally Graphic is created on land that should be given back to the traditional land holders, which in this case is, to my knowledge, the Mississaugas of the Credit First Nation, Anishinaabe people, the Haudenosaunee Confederacy, and the Huron-Wendat Nation.